over here! What other movies have come out recently that... Yeah, you, you mentioned Encanto, which... Uh yeah. Which is more like that 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 was a movie that was more about family dynamic and expectations, which Turning Red also kind of did. Yeah, also tackles a lot of that, but it, Encanto is more about a whole family, whereas Turning Red makes it more specifically between the mother and the daughter. Yes. Which in that way makes it kind of like brave. A little bit, but like if if I may be like if I may be like bold in saying this, although I don't think this is a bold statement at all, Brave I don't think did a really good job of it. <laughs> I, yeah, Brave is, I think, in the lower half of Pixar movies for me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not, like, I, I will say, I don't think it's terrible. No. It, it's not a horrible movie, but it's definitely not... I think it's a little confused. That's a good way to put it. Sorry, I'm just looking at what I can do here. It was, Brave was kind of a bait and switch for me, because I, the marketing made it seem like it was going to be kind of this big epic adventure. Uh-huh. And then it was actually a very, like homey like kind of uh by the way should we do this yeah yeah i'm good with that last time we're in yeah we made quick use of that thing but on weapons that i think are worth yeah, getting back a brave weapon is worth especially because we made serious liberal use of it last time I want to weaken this guy, okay, and then get him out. Okay, you can uh, probably do that with Titania then. Move up, hit him, Canto back. Mm -hmm. I actually watched last night um, one of the few Studio Ghibli movies I hadn't seen already. Um, only yesterday. Uh, which is? Um, I don't think it was really a great movie overall, but I really liked a lot of individual scenes. It's kind of like a... Yeah, which movie is it? Only Yesterday is the name of the movie. Oh! Sorry, that's funny. I was like, because like, I, when you I said, watched, when you said I watched only it only yesterday. That's exactly what I was that's getting. Funny. Like, I was like, wait, what? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the that... name of the movie is Only Yesterday. That's why I was confused. I was like, wait, um, okay, Only Yesterday, what movie was it? <laughs> No, who's on first? What's on second? <laughs> uh, I don't know who's on third. <laughs> third base. But it's just kind of, it was just kind of interesting watching that so close to turning red because there's also a that that's also kind of a coming of age story and there is also a large segment of it that's about like all the girls in the elementary school getting the talk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like all the kids like kind of being obsessed with it. It's it, it's a neat if you're if you really like Studio Ghibli, I'd say definitely give it a watch, but it's not as good as a lot of other Studio Ghibli movies. Mhm. Mm Even G the, like, G Ghibli has Ghibli oh generally has a pretty good track record, honestly, if you ask me. Yeah. So like I like I I'd say like any one of those movies are are worthwhile. The one that I watched recently uh, by Studio Ghibli that I enjoyed very, very much. Ah, oh, jeez, I forget what it was called, but it was about that one girl with, with the flying machine that was, like, going around, like, the, the uh, like, the atmosphere is toxic. Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind. That's it, thank you, yeah. Uh, that movie was, like, uh, really, really cool in my opinion. Yeah, that's cool. And, movie. um... Hey, you know you're gonna take damage from the... Yeah, yeah, I'm well, debris, I'm well right? aware. We, we can, we can handle yeah, one. Yeah, we, like, we can tank it. Right now, my priority is, oh, jeez, you got hit by that. My, my main priority right now is just to get these guys out of the way. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the, of the fact that she got hit by that, though, but I have an idea. Um, if you could use Ranoff to push Reese, you can get Reese into position to heal Nephany. I was actually going to thinking... Actually, yeah, like, Ranoff would probably be better for this. Let me just make sure he can push. Yes, he can. All right. Then let's have Gatry. Can Gatry actually finish this guy? No. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of actually finishing him with Ronolf. Okay. And then having Gatry push. Okay. Perfect.
Yeah, maybe let's focus on this for just a moment. <laughs> Hey, I don't mind like talking. I, I don't mind shooting the birds in the uh, <laughs> shooting the shooting the breeze. For some reason, I had birds in the bees. That, that's why uh, you... the birds in the breeze. Uh, oh like, man! Oh my god! If, if, if this was like one of mine, where each episode had a title, that would be the shooting the birds and the bees would be the episode title. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I think we're good here. Okay. And then maybe I have Titania move up to block Mia, because I, ju I just don't like Mia holding the line anywhere. I think she has something to say about yeah, that. Yeah, although she, you know, <laughs> she's sticking at full health. Okay, we got a Lanceman and a Mage here who can't reach anyone, but I figured, like, we just want to bait that Mage. And I think I know who's going to... Or can we just have, like... What's Titania's resistance? 14. Not bad. Which is not terrible, actually. It's better than Ike. Har shouldn't do it because that's a Thunder... That's a Thunder Tome. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd say Har could do it. Alright, Titania. I'm counting on you to dodge that 20%. Can you do it? She better. Good. I'm imagining, like, what if she got hit, but she countered it then, too. <laughs> but for some reason, I thought that was what was going to happen. I, I, I wouldn't put it past her, considering. Let's actually put her in front of, uh, yeah. in front of Mia. She'll take that. Steel Lance better than the Mage. Yep, and uh, Jill uh, can uh, hold the line against that Steel Lanceman, too. Okay. She's not in range of the mage, you so we're get good there. Reset to the heal, Nephany. Yes, sir. You hear the echo of the shove yeah. in the caves. That's funny. I started playing Bloodborne for the first time in my life. Really? Yeah, I've been uh, ha hanging out with Patty and. Uh, playing it, so we have almost like a LAN party set up where we have two TVs set up with two PS4s. His is actually a PS5. Yeah. And then we both play Bloodborne and we stick around the same area and every once in a while we use the beckoning bells to like go to each other's worlds and help. That's cool. I'm I'm very not good at it yet. Bl Bloodborne's not a hard, not an easy game. No. I did I did beat Gascoigne by myself. He Pat, Pat offered to come into my game world and help me beat Gascoin, and I said, no, he's the gatekeeper. If I can't beat him, I can't play Bloodborne. Pretty much. I need to do it myself. That, that's, the, that's the beauty of Gascoin is just like, you know, if you beat him, then you already have the tools and the skills necessary yeah. to beat the game. You just need to hone them at that point. I'm actually pretty good at, like, traversing the environments and, like, surviving, like, little enemies and stuff like that. I yeah. just... All the bosses destroy me. Cleric Beast took me forever. Gascoigne took oh, me forever. Oh, Cler Cleric Beast is Cler Cleric Beast is an early game like just kick to the head. Yeah, it, it it's very um it's very disheartening because I watched Patty beat Cleric Beast in one try. Yeah, but he's also Patty. He's played this game. Yeah, he's like, been playing a lot. Of how many times? Off, and I know people are loving Elden Ring. I'm very happy for all the fans who are having such a great time with that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dude, like. Um, our friend North has been all over Elden Ring, and it's really, really charming to see just how much he loves it. That guy didn't move, so I kind of want to see if maybe I can have Hard do a little bit of hit-and-run tactics here. Yeah. Like, just to get some more experience, you Sounds know? Sounds great. This is a route chapter, anyway, so we'll That's have true, to so we got, we gotta have, we gotta deal with him eventually, anyway. Okay, these are, like, flame areas, but three enemies can reach that, and I have an idea on who can tank that to get these guys up here, and I think it's going to be Ronolf. Hmm. Ronolf doesn't have any weapon disadvantage against any of these guys, and he can just tank. Uh, the only dis the only thing about it is that that's a, you know, flaming area. Unless we want to move him a little forward, like, here, maybe? Yeah. 
Yeah, so that he at least doesn't have to worry about the fire. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get these guys up here, then. Yeah, we need to clear them a path first. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's so stupid that boy can't use bows. Right? We discovered that earlier, and it's like, what? Yeah. Like, he's a warrior already. Why can't he use bows? Yeah, they took away the warrior's ability to use bows. That That's, like, supposedly that's not until he can be a reaver? Yeah. That's so odd. Especially, like, this late in the game, like, you know, you might as well just have the ability to use bows. Yeah. I mean, oh well. I don't like it, but, you know, it is what it is. Nephany is just the, like, the <laughs> perfect picture of consistency right now. <laughs> yeah, Daunt is really funny on her. Jesus! Uh, you done made her mad. There we go. Get some good healing up here. Yeah. Honestly, like, I'm actually kind of glad we got a little bit of damage here, because that actually makes it so that, like, these guys can do some work. Yeah. Yeah, Titania, would you let me stay near you? I should be close in case you need healing. We can't lose you. Ha, huh, I agree. If we guard each other, we can fight as much with much greater strength. Uh, yep, there we go. We'll heal up to we'll heal we'll heal up Titania in a minute. So yeah, up here, and he can just like take these guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, your meter's at twenty-one. You you yep. have more than enough. Yeah, he can hang in here for a round. All right then. Um, let's uh then uh, like have a uh, Soren join the main force again. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather deal with these guys after we clear out this southern area. Okay. So. Well, since he's lagging behind anyway, why don't you have Gatry take the right path? Cause he'll catch up. Good call. He'll see combat faster that way. Theoretically. Mm hmm. That is an Elfire Mage. I'm gonna put him over here in case he decides to move with the hand axe. Yeah, sounds good. Like, he can handle an Elfire. It's Thunder Magic that we gotta keep an yeah. eye out for. What's great about Har is that if he gets damaged like, too damaged after a few rounds, he can just leave. Okay, that is a darkened space. We got a lot of darkened spaces here, that's a problem. Yep. That's the problem with fighting in a volcano. I'm gonna do this just in case. Yep. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Alright, you might need to move Jill and Mia back then. Yeah. Unless you're okay with him just taking some more damage. Nah, I think I'd rather... You know what? Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, and have Jill join Har. Mm-hmm. Might as well. Yeah, like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry here. Those guys have just been going back and forth. All right, Ronald. Your thing. <laughs> We're on patrol. <laughs> Keeping this land safe. People have been enjoying Brutal Legend, I've noticed. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the feedback on that. I'm really glad, too, because, like, it's a niche game. Like, one, either way you slice it, like, Brutal Legend is a niche game. Yeah. I like niche games, though. I like games that are like nothing else. Mm-hmm. Especially because, like, those are the types of games that, like, tend to have a, a lot of heart put into it, and Brutal Legend clearly has a lot of heart poured port into it. Yeah. It feels like an indie game before there was really much of an indie scene. That's true. I, you can kind of say the same about a lot of, um... Oh, yeah! Howl! I think he's stunned now. Yeah. Oh, hot damn. Well... Opportunity knocks. Yeah. Let's, uh, bug him up. 
Alright, this guy's got a storm sword. Oh, Nephany! She can't do much. But as long as we have a unit here and here, he can't do anything. Yeah. Let's clear this force out first. Yeah, we might need Harnjil's help with that. I don't think so, actually. Ooh, maybe. Unless, can you do it to him? Yes, yep, you can. that's the KO. I don't mind that he's going to take a little bit of damage. Like, why not? That is a really sick animation for the light spell. Yeah. I, I like the light spells in this game. Hmm, kill with mist first. Good call. We're not gonna mind that mist takes a little bit of damage, right? Yeah, she can she can take a round of damage. Boyd, we are one big family. Families stick together no matter what, you understand? No matter what! Done. That's a gentleman's promise. Now let's go smash him into bits. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, just got boy to miss the A support. Yeah, I think that's the I think that's uh, the last one we needed, right? Oh, and they can converse now too, but we'll save that for a moment in, in a moment. Yeah. Hmm. I can't reach that guy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him finish this guy off. Okay. Sorry, I'm just, like, kind of, like, weighing my options here. There we go. <laughs> yep. Sure, let's just do that. Wind looks so, like, dinky in comparison now, because I'm so used to watching Elwind. Yeah. But he's making use out of it. Alright. What can you do against a Storm Sword, actually, now that I think about it? Because you, you have a created weapon. Not terrible! Yeah, I think that and another attack. Let's do Nephany first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and the Daunt is also going to assist in Boyd's uh, uh, ability to uh, handle this as well. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. He's got a 1% to hit now. Dude, I freaking love just how much use we're getting out of Nephany. Like, she's like... She, she's kind of like the sleeper hit for us in this in this uh, series of games. Yeah. Well, Liar did something useful. She gave us a skill for Nephany. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Liar. Liar and Kaiza just got the short end of the stick in this game. And you Seriously. You only get that scene if both Leaf and Liar are alive by that point. Which yeah. means the most useful the most useful thing to do with Liar is keep her at the base. Pretty much. <laughs> Ouch. She is an indoor cat. Alright, I'm just trying to get a beat on all this. That guy's got some range, actually. But we should be fine. Okay, that is an Elfire and a sword, which someone can proc over here, actually. Yeah. Um. Do you want to have Ike do it? No. Maybe. And maybe Jill and Har can start working on these guys up here? Yeah, do we want to just put Gatry there, just so we can start moving forward? Okay. 
I kind of want Jill to weaken this guy first so that uh, right. Titania can come in and finish. Alright. So the thing about Ronolf, he's not a good endgame unit because there are just better versions of him by endgame. Pretty much. But he is important because there's a lot of missions that he has to be on. And generally, like, for the for the place he's in, he's a good unit. Yeah, he's good in the chapters that require you to use him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just go with the Steel Axe. Bonk. Nice. Yeah, like if we if you were to tell if you were to ask me like who some of my favorite characters in this game are, like one of them is definitely um Ronolf. Yeah. Mainly because like he's just a really chill character who also has a lot of importance like revolving around him. And I like his hat. <laughs> what kind of hat is that? I don't know. It's a it re it kind of reminds me of one of those like um it, it's kind of like a mixture of like a headband and like those hats uh from I want to say Russia. Yeah, it's like a snow cap with ears to keep your head and your ears war warm. Except yeah. because of his hair and his cat ears, he doesn't need the top part. Yeah. Because as a Laguz, that hair is like as thick as fur. Pretty much. I find that amusing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just stick with the iron sword. I think we're fine there. And you see like a lot of the Laguz soldiers wear those same kinds of hats. Oh, that's what's uh, causing all that range. Hang on a sec. Oh, that guy can reach far, actually. But I kind of want Har to just take this guy out, like, right here and now. Assuming he can. That That is Har's one major weakness, is his speed. It's not great. Yeah. Alright, we'll deal with you guys later, then. I think just keep Har there. Sounds good. If the mage wants to come attack him, that's his problem, but we already know he's not going to because he didn't last turn. Mm hmm. You know what? Let's proc someone else. Sure. I'm gonna keep it rolling. Just want to make sure there's no one else that'll reach there? Yes, we're good. All yeah. Right. All right, Ranolf. Keep it up. The next real problem is, like, getting to Septimus since it's going to be, like, hard to pull specific units. Yeah. Good stuff, Ike. Oh, Septimus is moving! Okay. Oh, they're all moving, it seems. They seem pretty hell-bent on protecting Septimus. Which makes sense the way his character is. Yeah. Because he's he... like, oh no! It's interesting that, like, yeah, Sorna was right, like, the caves were the best option, because... Benyon didn't take its main force into the caves, mm -hmm. but... They just have so many people that they're like, oh, send, like, a group in there just in case there's people. Alright, it looks like they're starting to move forward to try and, like, take us out. Yeah. So I say, like, that, like, area where Titania, Jill, and Ike are, we form a wall here and pull our units over here for a little bit. Okay. We also got mages coming up, which I think is going to be uh, Soren's job. So, Soren, let's give you a head start on that. Before we do. Smart. Especially because, like, Ronald just ran out of meter. Yeah.
Beautiful. Dude, the power gap between the Grail Mercenaries and the Dawn Brigade yeah. is insane right now. Like, it's not a question of who would win. Yeah. That, that's not the question. Yeah, like, that that, that one, the, the last chapter was less that and more just, can we fulfill these conditions that we are so desperately trying to fulfill? Yeah. Is that one of the darkened spaces? I can't tell. Uh, that one should be safe. All right, then. I thought so. Um, let me get a beat on these guys. This guy's got a crossbow. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna form a wall. I just wanna make sure no one else, yeah. We're gonna form a wall right here. Okay. I think we're gonna have to bring Jill and Hard down here, and we can deal with these guys later. You think? Okay. On honestly, because it's like, it, it's becoming a little bit too uh, cumbersome to keep Har up here. When if they're not gonna move, that's their problem. We can deal with them later. I'd rather have Jill and Har ready in case things get uh, things get complicated. Okay. I mean, it'll be nice to have them be able to fly in, kill key targets, and fly out. Exactly. Because they were not smart enough to bring any cavalry in here with them. Reese, let's fight back to back, guarding each other through the battle. If I can be of any help to you, I'd love to stick close. Just wanted to get that. <laughs> back to back as in Reese, get behind me. <laughs> and I'll fight everyone. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, as for who will be the last person to form this wall, I'm gonna say Nephany. Okay. You could have Reese go down and heal Boyd. That's what I was thinking. We're gonna have, uh, Ronolf over here for now. Um, do we want to use... Oh, we didn't... We don't have any more olive grass with him. We should, probably should have given him some. Yeah, whoops. No big deal. Um, we're gonna have Ike come down here and join, uh... Uh... Join Soren. Soren, can you watch my back? Yes, Ike. <laughs> simple! So goddamn yep. simple! To the point. Dude, I love these two. Yeah. I, I, I do appreciate the fact that that one is obviously supposed to be something between the two. Yeah. Yeah, it feels specific. Mm-hmm. Like, you you remember that, uh, you remember that scene, or that, like, uh, that one moment in the, uh, cutscene where Gatry and Ike are fighting back-to-back? -back? Yeah. I can imagine that, like, Ike is, like, forward, and right behind him is Soren with wind magic at the ready. <laughs> yeah. I love, I, I love the chemistry between these two. Um, which is funny, because, um, not to call him out or anything, but I know one person who's actually not the biggest fan of Soren right now. Okay. Part maybe because, like, uh, he's still, like, going through the game, and, like, still trying to figure out, like, you know, what the deal is with everything, but at the same time, I'm like, oh man, I don't know how I- I don't know how to feel about that, man. It's Wombu. Okay. I mean, there are reasons not to like him. That's true. I get but, it. But it's like, I don't know, like... This is coming from someone who adores the ever-loving crap out of Soren. <laughs> Wombu, your opinions are trash. <laughs> Fight me. No, I, like, I get it. No, I do get it, too, because <laughs> by, by all accounts, like, on surface level and, like, seeing him interact with everyone else, Soren's kind of insufferable. I didn't like Soren my first playthrough, either, until, that... I, get, until I got, like, midway through Radiant Dawn. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, snap, this guy has a lot going, on, going for him. Yeah. And even then, like, if you get that far... And you just still don't like him because you've built up enough disdain for him. Like, I can see how that would happen, I can too. understand that, yeah. Hi, Wombu. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me talking about you, man. <laughs> oh, man. I I've gained so much respect for Wombu over the years, especially because, like, he's gone from someone I love watching on YouTube to actually a genuine friend. It's... It's really... It it's really cool. He seems like a really great guy. He's he's really nice. I've only like, talked to him a little bit, like, on social media and... Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But every every time I've talked to him, like, it's been a blast. Like, I... 
like, I enjoyed talking to him, like, just in general, but also because, um, he's a really good guy to talk to about certain serious topics as well, uh, to a certain degree. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, just in general, I, I have a lot of respect for the man. Yeah, so go watch some Wombu videos, guys. Yeah, seriously, he's, a, he's a great watch. Go watch the, uh, his, uh, top ten skull characters. Oh my god, like, the, the that, skull, the, one. the skull countdown was great. Can you, uh, finish him? Oh, wow, maybe you can, actually, with Elwind? Yes! Nice. I hadn't heard of the game Skull before that video. I'm probably never going to play it, but that was a great video. He actually gifted me Skull, and I probably would have gotten to it by now if it weren't for the fact that I've been playing Darkest Dungeon 2 and the uh, new Survivors of the Void DLC for Risk of Rain 2. I'm so excited for Darkest Dungeon 2. It's just, I... I never play games in early access. I don't know why. I just can't get into it. No, I can understand that. Like, r r uh, Darkest Dungeon 2 is one of the few that I did. Especially because, like, it does still feel like a genuinely full game, even, like, if it's early access. It's very clearly early access. Only the first part of the game is available. Okay. But that's enough for me to... That, that's enough for me to get into it, particularly because, unlike the previous game, Darkest Dungeon 2 is more of a traditional roguelike. So, it's not an extensive career-based type game. It's more run-based. Okay. So, I don't, I don't know if, like... I'm uh, really looking forward to it. Yeah, like, it, it, it's a really, really cool uh, way to go about it. It's going to take a hit from that mage, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, well, that, that'll just be opportunity knocks for later. Mm -hmm. Let's get some kills here. Just want to make sure I'm not running into anyone. <laughs> nope. Let's do this first. Yeah, at this point, I think I'm just going to rally um, Mist and Reese on permanent healing duty. Part of what I really like about Darkest Dungeon is the, like, career-based side of it, so mm -hmm. I am a little worried that 2's going to take it away from... Well, you, you'll be happy to know... You, you'll be happy to know that it uh, the game is uh, a lot more akin to how Hades is treated. Where it's more along the lines of, um... And I do really like Hades. Yeah, it's more along the lines of, like, yes, it's more run-based, but every run you do, you make some permanent progress. Yeah. So, it is still career-based, just on a lesser scale compared to Darkest Dungeon 1. Those are two games that would probably make my top 50. I was thinking about this the other day. Mm hmm Yo, Hades, like... H Hades just... <laughs> did everything right. <laughs> like, goodness gracious, I love that game. Uh, yeah, just looking at what I can do here. Why don't you move? Seriously. He's scared. He should be scared. I, I, that, that, that's a good point. Who want, who do we want to give this kill to? Jill? Uh, sure. Kill for Jill. I like to think that um, the Daunt ability on Nephany is just she tilts her helmet forward so that her eyes are shadowed over, and anytime <laughs> someone gets attacked, she just like looks up slightly, and it's that <laughs> small glint in her eye that is just menacing. <laughs> People are, you know, news of Ike of the Grail Mercenaries has been spreading across Tellius, but news has also been spreading about Nephany, <laughs> the ghost of Oma. I'm gonna keep trying and proc this guy because Jesus Christ, he's annoying me. It's kind of funny too because um, Nephany is like, I would say like one of the lesser characters in this game, narratively, narrative wise anyway, and yet like, I, I'm looking at, like, how many people, like, acknowledge a lot of the characters in, like, the, uh, general Fire Emblem community. People adore Nephany. Like, genuinely. I think part of it is because of that underdog status. She's not necessarily, like, the greatest unit in this game. Yeah. But she's charming, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I think, but then again, I, can, I think that can be said about a lot of the characters in, in Radiant Dawn. Like, a lot of them have that ch that surface charm that is just, like, endearing enough that people fall in love. I remember, because she was one of the earlier characters shown of Path of Radiance, like, one of the earlier characters for them to show, you know, official artwork for. Yeah. And at the time, uh, Path of Radiance was only the third Fire Emblem game to come to America. And it was like, oh man, you finally get to play as the soldier units, because usually soldier units are only by the enemy, and I don't know why that was so exciting to me. That's true, But actually. Like, yeah, you, um... Like, th this yeah. is the first instance we actually get, like, Lancemen and Halberdiers. Yeah. Like, that we can actually control. Yeah, I think... Th there were older games that, at the time, were Japan-only that had, yeah. like, um... Like, Gaiden. Uh, kind of in a similar vein, actually. There's this one character that, uh, in Binding Blade, that everyone was like, Holy crap, we can actually use this type of unit? Um, that, like, completely took everyone by surprise, and that's Gonzalez. Cause he's like, a, yeah. like no, like before Gonzalez, no one really was able to use the bandit class. Yeah, the closest we got are fighters and uh, pirates, and then Gonzalez Gaza comes in and is like, holy crap, we can play as the bandit. Yeah, that's cool. Like, really, it's not that different from using a fighter or a pirate, but like, it's exciting. It, it is cool <laughs> because like, it's like something we weren't allowed to have. Exactly. Like, it, it's still genuinely cool how they implement that. I like Gonzalez. I think he's a cool. I, I think he's a cool character. Yeah. All right. Just want to make sure I'm not uh, running into anything. We got a shit ton of units here, just all piling together, and I don't like that at all. Not there, actually. Here. What is your Elfire? So we want thunder. thunder. <laughs> I love how in the last chapter we were like debilit uh, like uh kind of like putting together yeah, like what the logic is behind why this works this way and this works that way when it comes to magic when the meter was w when the, the chart yeah. was right there in front of us staring us in the goddamn face waiting for us to realize oh wait it's right there oops I feel that a lot when I play video games though and people are like it says right there, and I'm like, there's so there's so much on the menu, though. There's so much in the UI, I don't the, always see everything. Yeah, this this game bombards you with a lot of info. Kind of like Brutal Legend, in a way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember we were playing Brutal Legend, and you were like, dude, the, the fire effigy's right there, how can you not see it? I'm like, I'm looking at everything, there's so... That's just how my vision works. I think of all these units, that Steel Bowman is the one that has, like, the most range. The most embarrassing is, um, Patty and I played the first three Sly Cooper games on my channel. Yeah. I, yeah, I remember that. And, um, we were in the final part of Sly 3. So, you know, you have the boss fight against, uh, Dr. M Mandrill? What, uh, the, oh, I don't remember his name. I can't think of his name right now, but he's a mandrill. Right, right. Um, and you fight him with Murray, then you fight him with Bentley, and then you fight him with Sly. Yes. Um, or rather, you f fight him with Murray, and then you keep guards off of Murray using Bentley. So with Bentley, you have to use the drones. Yeah. And previously, the the this kind of drone only had the little, like, grapple thing, so it shoots a grappling hook and you go to something. So, we're, like, trying to kill all of the, like, henchmen that are running in and keeping them off of Murray by just, like, firing the grappling hook and doing minor damage to them over and over and over. And the controls on the HUD, like, just say, like, fire grappling hook. And all the comments in that was like, you idiot, there's guns, press R1. <laughs> But, like, throughout the rest, like, in the whole game, whenever you're doing that part, it's only got a grappling hook. Yeah. The way you're supposed to know that is when you're doing the RC car segment earlier, Yeah. Bentley's like, I had to take the guns off the RC car to put on the grapple drone. 
So, uh, like, that's how you're supposed to know you can do that, and, like, I just wasn't paying enough attention back then. So we're, like, doing that, trying to kill these guards, and, like, why are we, how are you supposed to do enough damage to these guys before they can respawn? This is oh, impossible. No. But we did it. Oh, no. So that's my VG Myths run. <laughs> <laughs> is final boss of Sly Cooper 3, no firearms. <laughs> Can you, uh, can you beat the final boss of Sly 3 without guns? <laughs> I fucking love uh, VG Myths, dude. Like, they they, uh, they do a, some amazing work. I started watching him a lot after you uh, got me to watch the Metroid one. I had already seen a lot of them, but I hadn't checked them out in a while. Uh -huh. and then you, you mentioned the one with Metroid. Um, not not to not to be that guy, but uh, you've also done this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Uh, Shide. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, just uh, want just wanted to make that clear. Good to know. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, VG Myths, I think like they're ab like they are absolute geniuses, or they're they're an absolute genius. Uh, for me personally, I think the one that like really uh, got me to watch them like like just catch every single because I'm subscribed to them, right? Yeah. Like the one that got me to catch like every single one uh, that I can is uh, hmm. Sorry, just looking at this and I'm thinking of maybe coming down here with Ike and just like letting Ike be a bamf. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's... I, ha I have an idea. I have an idea. That's quite a pod he has going there. Ugh. Yeah, I don't trust Void to be able to handle that. At least not without letting these guys just come in. Like, you want to know what the problem is? They're not moving outside of, like, certain ranges. Maybe we can... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, I just got a delicious idea. I just got a delicious idea. Hang okay. on a Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 23% to hit, 17 damage. I trust her. Or 29% chance there. Yeah, I trust her. Good stuff, Mia. And Mia can handle that general easy. And thanks to this cliff side over here, no yeah. one else can reach her! That's nice. Ah, <laughs> yes! That's very nice. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So she just has to deal with that one general. Yep. As a matter of fact, that might be the position. Once Mia deals with this general, I'll have another idea in the works. Okay. As for these guys, yeah, they can handle this just Oh, fine. easily, easily. So I think just get everybody ready to start walling. Mm -hmm. Let me check something real quick. Perfect. I'm taking no chances. <laughs> okay. It's a little excessive, but it's also experience for Mist, so I'm not yep. complaining. Oh my god, move! You freaking... Mm. Should we just leave him be for now? Yeah. Or maybe I can bait them a little bit more by doing this. Sure. Alright. 